just um, would like to give um, respect to the Nakuruma people, part of the Gomorrah Nation on which where we meet today. Um, I'd like to pay respects to the elders, both past, present and emerging. Yama everybody, uh, my name's Eleanor Binge. I'm a Gomorrah woman from Tumala Bogabilla. I moved away from there when I was 17, but always went back. Um, I think going home and connecting to country is a good thing for me, and that's where I normally go, the river. I spend it fishing with family. A lot of our get-togethers are on the river. My best friend, um, I used to follow her around a lot. Um, her mum is my great aunt. She's my grandmother's sister. So I walked in one day, she was just painting on the veranda and that's when I fell in love with Aboriginal art. She taught me a lot of symbols. She's also pretty fluent in our language. I didn't get that though. <laughs> I just mainly got the painting side. I just fell in love with it, just hearing the stories and symbols that she taught me. So I've always brought it back to, to her as being a mentor with my art. I wanted to acknowledge sacred sites in this painting because those are places that should be untouched. And the white footprints, they are the ancestors that have walked before us on each state. The five meeting places represent each state in which ARTC work on and through. So we have WA, Victoria, Queensland, New South Wales and South Australia. So these five people, they also represent um, a traditional owner from each state. This is one of um, the values that um, ARTC have put in their reconciliation plan, which is um, the, the symbol of no harm. And that's like I said with the sacred sites, they don't want to harm the country too much when developing the new inland rail system. And they're always consulting with the traditional owners on each country. And that's what I've depicted in the painting. With the two hands, it's the reconciliation journey of ARTC and the Aboriginal people and country. And so that the railroad track is that journey that they will take with each five states with their reconciliation action plan. It's one of my favourite ones and I think the meaning behind it is what ARTC are going to work towards. The blue lines represent the waterways. Um, Australia to me is Mother Earth and the blue veins are the waterways of Mother Earth. So these smaller symbols, they represent the values of ARTC and I think the most important one is the, the one of no harm and the other one of building stronger relationships within the communities they'll be working on and the other one is positive thinking. So I've incorporated all the stuff that was on the Reconciliation Action Plan into this beautiful artwork to represent their journey within the five states. Here it is, printed form. So you haven't seen this? It's just fresh off the printers. <gasps> it's not fresh, no. Oh, wow. So you haven't seen this? Not the fresh print, no. That's deadly. Oh, I'm excited to see them um, work on those values and you know, building strong relationships within the communities that they'll work on. I think it's a positive journey to make with Indigenous um, communities. And I'd like to see more of our Indigenous people employed within that journey as well. Um, it's good to have, you know, something on paper, but I want to actually see, you know, this, this action plan spread out and delivered into communities and yeah giving our communities more of an opportunity I guess to to work with them.